Obviously, I didn't get the decision. Um, it was a um, it was a cool trip. Um, I don't like to call things bad. That was a very bizarre trip. Um, as bizarre as it was, I like to call it good because I learned so much from it. Um, I was in another man's backyard for ten days, and uh, I found out, you know, what it's like to have to deal with a man, his country, his promoter, his everything. But um, you know, I dealt with it. You know, and uh, I went in there under the circumstances, and you know, uh, gave what I could under the circumstances that we were in. And I take nothing from him. Um, I personally just still don't think he's a better fighter than me. I don't think he's a better athlete than me. But that night, I just didn't show up. Um, everything I had to deal with that night was a little crazy. You know, I, I've never had to deal with it. I wouldn't even say that night. Everything I had to deal with um, that trip, you know, with people watching me, people on my back, getting threats from people, um, people following my team, video recording us. Um, and when I say video recording us, not like uh, professional videos. I'm talking like with their cell phones, like watching us. Um, want some? Want some? Yeah. There she go. Um, it was just a, a different experience. It was a very different experience. Um, you know, the threats we got the night of the fight. Um, a girl from from my city who was at the fight. She's she's from Rochester. Um, her and her boyfriend was rooting for me, and they got jumped. Her and her boyfriend got jumped on by about seven or eight, uh, what, like, gypsy, cot, whatever they call them, travelers or whatever they call them, and they beat that girl up and her boyfriend really bad. I'm sorry. Chilling with my baby. She's all of 15 days old. But they beat her up, you know, and these were men. And the thing that kind of made me nervous during the fight is my brother, my brother, Oh, you want the bottle here? Yeah, she's like, Dad. There you go. Yeah, see? <laughs> so, uh, don't, don't scratch your face, baby. It ain't that good. But, um, yeah, uh, my brother was on one side, and after about five or six rounds, I didn't hear my brother for about two rounds, and then he was on the other side of of the ring. I could hear him screaming from that side and that sort of bothered me because I was like, what the heck happened? You know, why did it get quiet and then why is my brother on the other side of the ring? Um, my, my team got grabbed, uh, grabbed on on our way to the ring and on our way back. Uh, my publicist Julio, some guy uh, swung at him and missed but knocked his hat off. Um, it got real dirty out there. Uh, obviously you guys saw the weigh-ins and the kid punched me in the in the balls and then kicked me and persisted to try to I don't know how a little person fights someone but Billy Joe put his son up to do that you can see that in the video and um, I think I got called the n-word more in those 10 days of being there than I've been called my whole life growing up here in New York um, hey it is what it is you know um, they did what they had to do, you know, their, it was their country, uh, their backyard, their man, and uh, they did everything that they needed to do to, to you know, uh, assure that their man had the, the edge, you know, and, uh, you know, I blame no one but myself for the loss because I'm the one that let, let it get to my head, but I'm glad that I kept my composure and, and kept, a, uh, 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 kept my head on my shoulders the right way and didn't act out, you know. Um, you know, I even told I even told my promoter, you know, because of how crazy he got at the first press conference when I first flew over there for the pre-fight conference, and then how weird people were acting towards us in London, you know, before the media day workout. Then he got on the phone when I first landed in London 
I had to do a press call and he got on the phone and was being very derogatory, very nasty. I just didn't say much. You know what I mean? Um, I've never been that type. I've never been the type to talk a lot of smack. I've never been the type to run my mouth. Um, I've always been humble, cool, calm, and collected. That's just me. Um, but he was talking so much stuff. So when we got to the media day, um, I asked, uh, I told my promoter, I said, I don't want to do the media day. I agreed to do the presser, but I said, I'm not doing a face off with him. No. No face to face. No. No. Mike, you, you'll, get, you'll get a full 12 rounds of face to face. Yeah. 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 I said, after the press, I just want to grab my stuff and bounce. So we can go back to the hotel and relax. They told me again, if you don't do the face off, you, you're going to get fined. And then everybody was saying, oh, you didn't do the face off because you were scared. Like, being, I've never been scared. If I was scared, I would never sign the contract. I just didn't want this, I didn't want to risk the fight not happening or I didn't want to risk being fined or them telling me I can't fight for the title because of a, because of a physical altercation. You know, we stood firm with each other with everything that was thrown at us and um, we didn't get the victory, but you know, we did what we could under the circumstances. Um, I don't regret it, you know, because you know, this shows you why a lot of fighters won't go overseas, uh, why they won't make that trip uh, over the pond because um, you know, these are the things you have to deal with on a regular. And I'm that guy that has to push no matter what. You know, I'm, I'm that Rocky Balboa. I'm that guy that always has the odds against him. You know, perceivingly, I'm, I'm not good at this. I'm not good at that. You know, because of what boxing has turned into in the last 15 years. I see how hard he works. Um, I see all the sacrifices he makes for the sport, for our family. And um, to know that... You know, he can go over to another country and not get the respect he deserves as a fighter, as a man, as a person. Um, that's hard to to take in and see him go through. Um, but I know that he's he's strong. That's one of the uh, qualities about him that I love so much is that he's so dedicated and that he doesn't give up. He doesn't let people determine what his next move is or the naysayers determine what his next move is. Um, so I know he's going to come back bigger better, stronger than ever. Um, and again, I'm, I'm excited to see what's what's next for him because I know that this is only going to push him to go harder and um, get what, what is his and what he does deserve. It's still Gimme Mine, BXB.